Eddie Undopu is one of the brightest minds at the world's leading university. He also needs constant care. He was diagnosed with spinal muscular atrophy as an infant and given only a few years to live. I've developed an intimate relationship with discomfort. I think discomfort is part and parcel of what it means to survive and exist. But the 26-year-old South African raised by a single mother has defied the odds, race, sexuality and disability to gain a full scholarship to Oxford. He studies here at the Blavatnik School of Government, an incubator for future leaders. During lectures, a helper takes notes because Eddie can't use his hands, but his disability hasn't stopped him becoming class president. Oxford seems like the ideal place for Eddie to thrive unimpeded, but despite receiving a full scholarship, it doesn't cover the kind of specialist care 24 hours a day that Eddie needs. He hoped to bring his own carer over from South Africa, but the British government won't give visas to African carers, meaning he has to use expensive local alternatives. And now the costs are spiralling. Unless Eddie can raise $100,000 in a matter of weeks, he may have to leave. He's enlisted the help of classmates who've launched a crowdfunding campaign to keep him at Oxford. The university, one of the wealthiest in the world, say their hands are tied. Even here, funding is a major challenge. And the most heartbreaking part of my job every year is that we don't always manage for every student. And so even this year, we have some students that now have additional needs, not just Eddie, but other students, um, that we have to try to find ways to support. For Eddie, a simple taxi journey is an ordeal after which he's charged three to four times the going rate, all because of his wheelchair. I think that a place like Oxford, um, while it is a remarkable institution with an incredible history, is sort of really reflecting what is happening in the rest of the world, that people with disabilities get the bare minimum. Eddie hopes for a time when he's no longer an exception to the norm, a world where efforts to access education don't leave him stranded a world calibrated to suit everyone's needs. Okay. Neve Barker, Al Jazeera, Oxford.